You need help me put it out! That's not gonna work. Look, if this is your way of getting money back with insurance, there is better ways, seriously! Not about that! So you're gonna help me or are just gonna stand there? Well, it looks like you're doing a pretty good job on your own. <laughs> there we are! Hello, Leila. Merry Christmas. Yeah. You all right? Who's she like? I'm someone with ears, love. This is, um, Leila. It's Alicia's sister. It's Carrie Dan. Hello. Merry Christmas. Mm. Alicia, you look amazing. Thanks. I like your cupboard. What are you doing here? She locked me in. Not in there! Although me and you are gonna have to have a chat about that. I didn't want her to spoil your day. Is that why you're here, then? To spoil my day? No. I didn't even know that you were getting married. Right, you just coincidentally turn up on the day that I do. It's Christmas. Yeah. We had one last year. Well, Jacob hadn't contacted me last year. Jake knows you're here? No, 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 he doesn't. He, he's, um... <clears throat> My dad's keeping him out of this. Oh, right, yes, like all kids should be on Christmas Day. He told me. He knows that I'm his mum. Thank you for telling him. You know, it would have been nice if you had bothered to let me know. Well, now you know, don't you? So, you'll be getting off then? Not until I've spoke to Jacob? No. Not today? Yes, today. I don't know why. Well, come on, we need to get out of here now. No. I want to watch it burn. Right, well, there's no point pulling the fire brigade because the alarm goes straight through. OK, you need to get out of here quickly. It's going to get very hot. Is this because I couldn't sleep with you? You know, you really do have a high opinion of yourself. Declan, it's going to collapse around your ears! It already has. Oh, my God, please tell me you're not. You've got a better idea. <gasps> See, what, you're just going to... just going to end it? All right, fine. What do I tell the people that love you? Well, that won't be an issue because there aren't any. Seriously, I'm begging you now. We need to get out of here, Declan. Declan, please! OK. Finally! No! No, Declan, no! No, please don't. No, don't lock it. No! Please don't do this. Don't do it. No, Declan, don't do it! Dad! Psst. Don't tell me, I can just... It is weirdsville, awkward shit out there, and we are on borrowed time for this. I can't just lift it, can't I? Oh, I can't right now. Hang on. Cheryl needs to do her business. Well, then some more business. Right, thank you. Bye. All right. Mm. <sighs> I did what I thought was best. All right, if in doubt, what, lock her in a cupboard and keep your mouth shut? Oh, I didn't know about the cupboard. And the reason you kept your mouth shut? Well, how about because I love you and I wanted to marry you? So, how long is it then since you got in touch? Jacob contacted me. Saying what? I know you're my mum. Well, that's a statement, not an invitation. Do you know, I knew it was up to something on that computer. Mm -hmm. Could have been doing worse things with it. <sighs> Why don't you want to speak to me, though? Do you want to know what I think? Oh, right, cos you've come with all the answers, have you? Yeah, well, I've come with some that he needs. And believe me, he does need some. That message was not from a happy boy. Yes, well, he'd had some bad news, hadn't he? The way you told it probably was. Do you know, I shudder to think what you said. Not as much as I could have, believe me. Do you know what I would have thought you'd have at least have had the decency to contact me first? Why? 
so you could put me off. Could have been years before you let me see him. All right, so you just thought you'd barge in then, did you? Yeah, I did. Cos now that he knows, he might be thinking all sorts of things about me. And he deserves to know the truth. <sighs> I deserve to tell him. He's got to be home sometime. He thinks because he's because he's got all this money, he can treat you bad. Treat yeah. people however he wants. However he wants. Slightly different wording this time. Get your drink. What's wrong with the booze in the fridge? That lot. Why we come here? Be a bit sad, me sitting up there on the own. Yeah, this is much less tragic. Yeah, we'll just have to see him again, thanks. And when he's got nothing left, he treats people how he wants. Because he feels he sorry, sorry for himself. himself. Yeah, he does. Yeah. You gotta treat people how you would expect of us to. Do the same back to them. Mm. Mm. Hey! Hey! Season's greetings. Yeah, I, I saw you when I came in. Yeah, I didn't say that though, did I? Very remiss. Have a seat. Uh, I've got one. Have this there. one. I swear. I'm teaching such a lesson. One is never gonna forget. Do you know what I mean? Not really. Just because he's got loads of money, thinks he can do what he wants. Okay, please. Christmas present back. Well, you won't, love, because it won't be yours to start with. Mum, it had my name on it. You'll have grounding with your name on it if you don't book up Christmas or no Christmas. Well, it feels like no Christmas to me. Uh, pardon? Yeah, better. Right, everyone, Sam and Rachel will be back soon, so I want everybody smiling when they come back. I feel like we're imposing a bit. Oh, nonsense. You were invited, love. You know, I just thought she would have been here when she texts. But, you know, she never really does what you think she should, does she? Yeah, babe. Finally! <laughs> Now then, has everyone got a drink? I reckon us look like right freeloaders. Right, well, raise your glasses, cos I've got a toast. Ladies and gentlemen, and, and others, and all that. <laughs> to my future wife. <laughs> Rachel, I mean. <laughs> yeah. well, we got that one, didn't we? Oh, my God. You're getting married? <laughs> What's that way? <laughs> oh, nice ring, Sam. <laughs> yeah, well, the ring's temporary. <laughs> I like my feelings for it. They're forever. And so are we. Come here, son. <laughs> Come again. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Please don't make me do this,
Oh, yeah. Mm, no. Let's be off. Lovely do. Cheers, well, have a good one. Well, you had two of them, so... See ya. There's no answer in. Right, you might as well go, then. I'm not going until I've spoke to my son. Um, cheers. Are you all right? What burnt? I mean, you're obviously a long way from all right. Good luck, bird. <sighs> so you still wish you were in there? I came out, didn't I? So what did make you come out then? <laughs> Waste. What does it matter? She's not coming back. She's never coming back. Everything that she did, she did to help me. Twisted as I was. She believed I'd come through it. She wanted me to. Who, Mia? Megan. Megan believed in me. So, I thought the least I could do is believe in myself. I thought the least I could do is spare her from having to clean up after her brother's suicide. Declan? and you never will be. Oh, come on, I don't think this is doing any good. And you told him that, did you? She gave birth to you, but she's not your mum. She just gave you away. No, I didn't. But it's the truth. Oh, you know the truth, Alicia. And I tell you what, there's a pattern forming, isn't there? I have something, and you decide that you want it, but you can't get it under your own steam, can you? My son? My man? Let's face it, Alicia. You're just living my life. <laughs> Alicia! Right, so come on, how are you going to do it? Hot air balloon, oh, big ginger maker. <laughs> Underwater with an Elvis impersonator. Mm hmm No, I, I don't care. I didn't think I cared about getting married, but... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I didn't think this would happen for me. Right, stop it, you're going to get me going. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. Look what Jay got me. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's brilliant. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's happened? Oh, um, <laughs> I'm getting married. It's on me. Which explains all the tears. Oh. No, I'm joking. Well, congratulations. Well, we've got some news, haven't we, Noah? But it's not as good as ours, though, eh? Oh, no, definitely not. Quite tragic, actually. Oh. Well, I was playing on my quad bike. Going towards home farm? And Declan's house is on fire. What? Yeah. Because he's on the distance. Home farm, is that what Really? Yes. Oh, you never know, they might say something. 
and my freedom. Oh, yeah. Your dodgy financial situation, then your house suddenly burning down, you mean? Oh, come on, cheer up. They only do you when you're trying to profit. As in, if it's insured for millions? Is it? Looks older every time, don't she? It feels further away. Hey, look. That's close, that. It's all I am, though, isn't it? All I'll ever be. A face on a screen. You're Molly's grandma, and she loves you. Her face lights up. Yeah, but I just so want to give her a cuddle sometimes. I know you do. Jenny, too. On days like this. Oh, no. On days like this and every other day. Ooh. Ah, bad timing. Oh, don't tell us we're going to get chucked out of here at all. Tender, Kerry. Very tender. Um, we just came to wish you Merry Christmas, but we could leave you to it. No, no, you stay. What's Christmas for if you can't have a cuddle, oh. eh? The more the merrier. More oh, the merrier. Drink? Yes, at last! Yeah. Merry Christmas. Oh. Merry Christmas. Debs, Sarah. Okay. I don't want a drink. You've already had one. Hmm. All right, take your coat, take your coat off. I'm not staying. What am I even doing here? You've been here all day, didn't you know? You've been with me. We've had a nice Christmas drink, just the one, cos I've got to do some more driving, and uh, your house has just burnt down, so what else have we got? Come on, coat! What are you doing? Well, it's burnt and it stinks. It needs to go. And the rest of the stuff's going to have to come off as well. But I will let you do that in private, yeah? With room, with no sharp objects. Come on, get up the stairs. Come on! Clock here. Just wash the smell off, yeah? Oh. And happy Christmas. Hmm? What is it? Not really much to tell, but the clean and no fit, yeah? Well, kind of. Oh, by the way, soap. Do you want to do it for you? You know, you can still come out of this smiling. With money, you mean? Is it not the same thing? Is that not why all this is happening? Because yours is gone? No, it's... It's more complicated than that. Well, one thing's very simple. You're no good to Megan or anyone in prison. You think that will fly with a judge? I don't think it ever needs to get that far. Well, thanks for your confidence. Well, you can thank me later when we split the insurance down the middle. 
list your alternatives. That'll never work. Never work? You've got a bright pair like us. We will make it work. Now, come on, two minutes, dry your hair. Things to do we want. You, I'll bring you a drink through. Ignore Robbie. He's drunk. I'm resting. Oh, Marlon, more nuts. Oh. Same again, you two. No. I'm gonna get off the quiet Christmas drink we came here for. All right. Where are you gonna go? It's a one pub town. Hi, all. Oh, Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Is that a you? Have to get your drink. Oh, no, we're just going, actually. Oh, well, what about you? No, I was thinking of heading back myself. Well, uh, I think you might be cramping someone's style. Well, leave him alone. He's got three sons in the pub, <laughs> and not one of them wants to have a Christmas drink with him. Don't make him feel any worse. It is Christmas. Come on. Let's go, man. Darling, this is not how I thought I'd be saying happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas, love. Happy Christmas. Alicia, take it easy. Leave me alone. See? Now it starts. Don't be mad with your mum, all right? Which one? And I'll be mad at who I want. We were arguing. And I said some things that I shouldn't have. I deserve that slap. Yeah, well, you better watch out then, or I might hit you. Hey, why didn't you say that you'd been in touch with Auntie Layla? Because I knew you'd tell me off. Babe, I'm telling you off now. No, but you'll save it for when we're at home. On our own. I haven't done anything wrong, but I'm still in trouble. You're always keeping me away from stuff all the time. Come on, Cheryl. Jake. No, not me. Are you happy now, eh? No. Should I tell you who else isn't? There you are. Where have you been? Just here. Having a think. Yeah. I like how they're lucky they're not turkeys. <clears throat> Sam. Are you thinking you've made a mistake? Yeah. A massive one. Oh, God. No, no, not that. No, I, I, I never that. What's wrong then, eh? I, I heard someone when I was up there. What where? At Declan's. I, I, I panicked a bit and I knocked the Christmas tree over and some stuff from the fire went on the rug. I, I, I stamped it out. I, I, I thought I did. Oh, Sam. I've got to go. Where? So up there. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't care. I've got to go. See if this is all I can do. Look, just, just hang on, and I'll ask Zach if he'll give us a lift, yeah? Right. <sighs> Reckons he's ruining Christmas and the wedding. I bring you here. It's not his fault. Yeah, I told him that. And I told him that he wasn't to know you'd turn up. It's only a lunatic could do that. Well, someone who just wanted to see us... Someone who just wanted to see him on Christmas. And you still reckon it's right you being here? Yeah. I'll go if it's best for Jacob. Yeah, good. I was just so excited when I got his message. My hands were trembling. And... Not so much once I'd read it. Someone give him this for me, yeah? Just... Uh, just give it to him yourself. He wouldn't have got in touch if he didn't want to see you, would he? That's what I'm saying. He didn't ask me to come. Yeah, well, that's kids for you. Go on, sit down. Are you sure? Well, I'm not sure about any of this, but it's happening now, isn't it? You said that you've come with answers. Well, you give him whatever ones he needs. But you make sure you tell the truth. Right, get on to 
control and make it three pumps. Hey, what's what do you need? I need BA where is he now, yeah? Oh, you need to get back from here now. Where's his house? Are you the owner? Yeah. Declan, mate. Do you know how it started? No, we've been out ages. We just got back and saw the smoke. Is there anybody else who might be inside? Mr. Macy, is it just the two of you live here? That's just me. My sister and her son, they moved out. It's just me. You'd be here when we noticed that you'd done one. Oh, you should have brought one for yourself. Yeah. Well. Cheers, Jenny. Yeah. It's been a hard day. Yeah. So you got to see Molly the way? For the usual few minutes. She's not going to forget you. No, but she'll forget Jenny, though, won't she? She probably already has. You know, I love that little girl with all my heart, but I'd write myself out of her life this minute if, if I thought that she'd grow up with just some memories of her mum. Christmas, birthdays. None of them will ever mean the same again. How can I celebrate when she's... Well, at least I've got my memories. Yeah. Oh, come here, Brenda. <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> oh, my God. Good idea, this, Sam. Maybe we can help. Yeah, it's a white mess. Sam! Okay, listen to me. What are you going to say to them? I guess we'll find out. I'm trying to help you here, so I could do it some notice, please. We live nearby and hear about it. What can we do to help? Keep well back, I'll prefer to go home. Well, who is in there? Keep out of the way. Well, you march Marshmallows, have you? He's just lost his house. Sorry. There was, there was someone coming in. That they could still be in there. What if I burned someone alive? Sam! I need to tell someone. Well, what good is that? Samson needs you. Me and Archie need you. This is not your fault. It could be, though. Yeah, come on. Mr Macy? Mr Macy? Yeah? Sorry to ask, but do you know what I'm starting with? We've just been wrecking our brains. Who are you, sorry? Um, I'm a friend I was with him when we came back and saw this. Name? Uh, Charity Sharma. And you say you've been out? Yeah. And asked where? Oh. The pub and then we went back to mine. We got an empty house, which is a bit of a rarity on Christmas Day. Did 
Could you have a nice sleep? Fine, yeah. Listen! Listen! Guess what? Home Farm is on fire. Betty heard it on her police scanner. I've got to go. What is... Oh. Help. Help! Stand now on that me! My sister is inside! Just stay calm, please! How am I supposed to do that? Are you going to help her? Yeah, I'll let us if you want. Right, we will, but you do need to calm down or leave. I'm going nowhere. Nowhere. First option, then. Please, Mr. Macy. Well, do something, then! Come on! No, no, Sam, you come on, now, come on! They're trapped in there! There's professionals there, Sam! And they're not doing it! Oh, Sam! Jessalyn, you've got to keep it together, right? There must be some way they can reach... No! Just leave them to it! Come on! It's weird, this, isn't it? I don't know why. We've done it loads of times before, haven't we? Not for a while. No. Go on then, open it. It's um, it's a skateboard. It's just a little present, nothing, nothing big, not your main one. Well, I hope you've got him an helmet and some pads as well. I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't have time. It was either this or a football shirt. Um, don't know what team you support these days. Well, <laughs> I never did really, did I? So what else did you get? My mum and David got married. Best present ever. <laughs> yeah. How have you been, eh, young man? Why did you give me away? There it is. My sister. No, shut up, you haven't. She's alive, all right? If it even is her. Who else would it be? She's trapped in there and they can't get... They will! When? A long time ago, obviously, nine months before you were born, you do know our babies are made, don't you? Well, me and your dad, um, do you know that your mum can't have children, yeah? Well, I wanted to help her. I was going to be untruthful then, I... Do you know what an affair is? I had an affair with your dad. Behind your mum's back. She said you were friends with my dad. So she was protecting you and me and your dad. I got pregnant. Your mum didn't know who the father was. Then. And this is not because of you. Because I didn't know you then. But I wasn't going to keep the baby. You, I... Gave me away. Yes. To your mum. Because her and your dad wouldn't have been able to have children, do you see? So that was the easiest thing? No. Yes. Yes. Yes, it was. It was the easiest thing. At the time, it was the best thing. Because your mum... She really, really wanted children. And I presumed I'd be able to have more. This is going to sound awful. I felt like I owed her. So you paid her a baby? Jacob. All right, I didn't know then what I know now. But even though I could be part of your life, I could be your auntie. It would never be enough, you know? I would always want more. Do you remember that day with the makeup? You don't need to explain that. Well, that was me I was trying to tell you. Yeah, I get it. So you know then, don't you? You know 
that I wanted you. I wanted to be your mum. Took you till I was eight to tell me. Wanted to tell you. For a very long time. I wish you had. Do you really? Yeah. Cos I could have told you that you're not my mum and I've already got one and she's ace and that you didn't have to come and spoil everyone's Christmas on the wedding. Enjoyed the peace and quiet out for a bit more. Help yourself to me nuts. Tell you what, here's a question for you. What are you doing in my house? Hmm. Couple of things. One, because I can't get enough of your charming company. And two, it's not your house. It's Moira's. Merry Christmas, by the way. Hey. Where's the rest of them? Young blokes, no work, pub open, have a guess. Sent you home, did they? <clears throat> no, it's getting late. I thought you might need lifting into your bath. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't mind. Thought I'd have a drink with you. No, no, not at all. No, no, not at all. Oh, oh um, I'll give you a shout when I need your big, strong arms. <laughs> uh, if you were looking for some alone time... Uh, we're not. No, oh, you said that fast. Did you not go on? Oh, didn't talk enough to find out. Anyway, if I was in the market, I think I'd go for someone who's single. Who oh, is? Not in his head. Still getting over someone. It seemed like he still had quite a fair way to go. Right. Did he say who? Change the subject when I asked. <coughs> getting my own, then, am I? It's 2013. Yes, you are. And you can bring me one. Good lad. Alone at last. Where's Jacob? Computer. Oh, I don't know. Twelve million quid spent on Christmas presents and all he wants to do is watch videos of monkeys flinging their own poo. I'm sorry for what I said. You're not jealous of me. You never said I was. Well, I was gonna before you slapped me. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you've got your life sorted. Uh, you deserve it, you've worked for it. You seem to be doing all right. Nice car. Must have a good job. Recruitment, you know, just normal. David. I'm sorry for letting you down. Letting me down? That's putting it mildly. Anyway, I'm not bothered. Things happen for a reason. Life moves on. You've moved on. You both have, and I am pleased for you. I told Jacob the truth. And he told me is, so I better be going. Just kind of. Can I ask that when this is all settled? Can I see him? I think that's down to win. I'll ask him. Might need persuading. 
I'm not going to make him do something he doesn't want to. Megan, can you hear me? So hold on, Megan. Let me in. He didn't leave a number. Um, Jacob knows how to contact me. Well, I can't see him trying anytime soon. That's that then, isn't it? Well, there is ten. He's confused. Right, it's Christmas Day and his mum has just married a man that she's already divorced once. His auntie's turned up, although she's not his auntie, is she? Because she's his mum as well. You think I'm confused? <laughs> you can't just come back, you know, and pick up. Things have changed now. Yeah, I know. Jacob's got a family now, hasn't he? You're his family. You. But look, like I said, right, it's up to him. He's not in a place to deal with it right now. But I don't want to be the person who in 20 years he goes, oh, why did you let her go? So have you got a pen? No. I, I've not got any paper. Yeah. Yeah. It might take time, yeah? Yeah, I've got, I've got time. It might not happen at all. Now, you drive this thing safely, yeah? Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Christmas, Alicia. Yeah, the same to you. Behind the scenes of the home farm fire and more, visit itv.com slash Emmerdale. While Stuart and Freddie have got a few friends round for a memorable Christmas tomorrow night in a special of Vicious at nine. Next, for your Boxing Day evening here on ITV, we continue our complete season of movies with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one.